What's up guys, back for another video here today, and today we're going to do the first rebuild of 2K20. I'm Hype, and I played some of this game already, played a little of my career, played a little of my team. Um, this is my first, oh well, I did see the my, you know, this stuff I'm doing right now. I did see a little bit of it, but I didn't mess with it that much. So in this video, there might be a little tweak stuff that I haven't seen yet, but uh, hey, we're going to learn it together, why not? Uh, but but looking at this team, um, we did pick up Whiteside in the offseason. I feel like if we end up, like I feel like the trade that might happen is Whiteside and something else, or Whiteside and picks for Kevin Love. I really think that's going to happen. I just hope we don't give up, uh, where is he, C. Little. The steal of the draft. Speaking of him, I'm putting him in the G League. You guys know how I do. Three years, and whatever year we win, is here we stopping at. Um, some of these players, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping. Like, um, right now I don't know who our small four is going to be. Obviously him. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be good there. And, uh, wait, is Hood, Hood, Hood goes up a small forward. So he can play small forward. Hood can too. Okay, so I might put him in the G League, but I might want to leave my backup. So there's... Back up to CJ. There's his backup. Little's going to the region. So we need a power forward. So I think the first person I'm going to trade is obviously Whiteside, just because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I guess Steven Adams isn't that bad. We give up our next year's first round pick. But we get Steven Adams. That might play. I'm probably going to play him a power forward. I don't really think I'm going to get. And then we get the 73 backup. That's probably going to have no point, it seems. We're going to up Whiteside and first round pick to our rivals, the Oklahoma City Thunder. All right, here's the deal. We're going to get this young guy from the Spurs, another rival from us. And we do get this other power forward that I'm not really going to be that mad for. It. So we're going to do that deal there. All right, I like that better. So now we have him as backup center for us. I like it. And then I guess he'll play uh, back up small forward. Yeah, the team's looking good. Obviously, all these guys aren't going to play, especially because they're probably not going to be on the team next season. I probably will bring him back. I don't even know what his deal is. I don't know if I can throw him in the G League. Can I? I'll throw him in the G League, too. But... All right, so we have, we have Simon. I'm just going to call him that. He's going to the G League, and then we see Little. He's going to the G League to become followers. And extensions. Anybody here that I want some extension? Okay. Uh, but yeah. And if you guys are wondering what the screen looks like, I'll just give you a, like a quick preview here. Pretty much everything I feel like is the same as last year when it comes to this stuff. And then they got social media in a different way here. I guess you can click on it. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> you could do that last year. And it shows a bunch of you know social media here. Got the calendar. Um, and then all the normal things. So really nothing changed in my league when it comes to like the screen. I guess like you know background and stuff, you know, all that stuff. But like, you know, they're trying to sit, you know, try and just copy and paste and then do some extra stuff just because they're waiting for the next console to come out and then it should be way better. But uh yeah. I will see you guys. At the end okay, of the here we are, and the MVP is Giannis Antetokounmpo. You can see right there, Rookie of the Year, Giannis. I'm kidding now. <laughs> Boys, you know, okay. As Zion Williamson, there you go, man. Six man, D'Lo from downtown. Defense, Kawhi. Most improved. Okay, we have Bryant. And coach of the year is, I don't know whose coach that is, because it's not in the background. Whoever it was, congratulations. All right, I'm not gonna care about those. And here we are in the playoffs. It's my first time seeing the playoff screen. So, you know. But you did see, we are a third seed. We did go 51 and 31. I'm playing against the Jazz. Um. So, uh, before we do anything, let's go in here and switch the lineups here. There we go. So now, what is, okay, so he's going to be a 78 coming up to this next year. And Simon's going to be also a 78 too. That's great too, so we'll 
slam in the lineup not now obviously um, but yeah so let's uh let's go check out the player stats of the season here so Dame Dalla 32.8 or 32.9 points per game and what is that seven assists yes it is okay CJ with 22 and three or 22.3 and uh, pretty much five assists and a little you know different stats there we got Yurkic, Yurkic back from his injury going a double double there Rodney Hood 12 points per game I like it I like it Rodney and then we had a double de a double double from Steven Adams also call us off the bench free agent pickup all pretty much 10 points per game did get five and a half assists I like that John uh, Zach Collins get him in the lineup looking nice and here's the rest of them I'm not gonna care about that, that much and uh, yeah we are playing the Jazz, and everybody knows what the Jazz looks like. Mike Conley, Don Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Zach Randolph, they signed out of free agency. Okay, Rudy Gobert. And they have Sabonis off the bench. Iggy on the squad. Okay. This team is not too shabby. Okay, here we go. Game one. We win. You, I can just tell this is waste. Oh, shoot. 1-1, one, one. sorry, I was say this step is way, so. All right, here we go. Game three, we win. Game, what? Some round. Why is it not letting me do game by game? Game, oh, okay, I gotta sim everything, all right. Okay. They won. This is different because it usually it's do game by game. But now it's only doing round. Okay. So, 2-2. Two, two. Okay. That's kind of hard because I'm not seeing something. Okay. We're down 3-2. to two. Let's do a Simcast. It's a big game we have to win here. Is it going to be a close game? And we're going to win there. CJ with 34 points per game. There we go, man. Okay, game seven. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's see who wins. And it looks like they're going to start pretty good coming out of the first quarter. Win the second quarter. Back in it. And we're just going to blow them out there. Damian Lillard with 36. And we're going on to the next round. What do I think? And we're playing Denver. So Denver trying to get their revenge back on us. Obviously, you guys should already know the team, but here we go. Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Michael Porter. They're actually going to start him. And Paul Millsap and Jokic. And then here's the bench here, if you're wondering. Not too bad of a bench. Kind of reminds me of that Jazz team. Great starting five and decent bench, player, bench players on the team. So here we go. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. And game four, we win. So we just sweep Denver, and we're in the conference finals. And I'm expecting this Laker team to be overpowered. But Rondo at point, Pope at shooting, LeBron at small forward, <laughs> Kuzma at power forward, and Anthony Davis, the cover athlete, at the center position. And I also got Cousins off the bench, Dwight Howard, and a couple of the other friends here. If you guys are wondering. Now this is brothers on there. So yeah, look at that. If you look on the other side, that, that looked pretty decent. So I'm expecting us to probably lose here because I feel like they're gonna over like over I'm not saying this team's overrated, meaning, you know, the Lakers are ass or something. Like they're literally, you know, they're probably gonna overrate them because Anthony Davis is on the team. So here you go. Game one, they win. Game two, they win. Game three, they win. Okay. We're down 3-1. And Celtics sweeped them, um, okay. So it's Simcast. Bro, just look at that score. Yeah, we're gonna end up losing there. I didn't expect to lose this team. You know, it's it's a very good team, but uh, yeah. 
Okay, here we are at our pick. And let's see what we got here. Okay, we got some trades. I'll look at them. Probably not gonna be that nice, you know. Vi oh, I said Vince Carter for a minute. Um, that's not too bad, but he's very old. Quinn Cook, that's not too bad either. He's 27 already, man. That boy getting old. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna pick somebody. And this is the updated roster for the this coming up draft. They say it's gonna be in the players. So by looking at this team, I don't really know what we need because I feel like we are good by how we are. Um, I guess we're just going to take the best player they feel like is going to be like the best player. And uh, the man on the board is somebody that's supposed to be taken here, and that is Cor Corny Hood. Let's see what he turns out to be. Um, so the team options, we're obviously bringing him back. Mario wants to go, and I'm fine with that. Cool. Bring back Simon. I like it. Okay, calling offers. Okay, he's a free agent. We'll give him. We'll give him the money. Um, I just want to know: Do we have any money, really? Okay, we don't really have money. So I think for this one, we're just gonna take. Um, so yeah, we don't really have that much money to sprinkle around. So we're probably just gonna throw a deal. Back at the man, wherever he went, we'll bring him back. Never mind. All right, but I guess we can't. But I feel like this team is good enough anyway. I don't think we should. So I feel like it's good. And I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video really because I have no idea how to edit this. This video is gonna be edited. And he did come back on the cheap off, so we did bring him back. And here's a more updated team. If you guys are wondering. Little up to a 79, it says. So he, I think I'll start little this season. And Simon's with their backup point guard. And yeah. Uh, Ronnie Hood. Um, it's interesting because. Uh, do I want to start Ronnie Hood? Who, what do, who do they think? Who do they think we should start here? They're thinking little. I'm thinking little too. I had a, a brief thing there. So little as a starter. I love it. Uh, Hood off the bench, I love it. Zach Collins, you know, he's up there too. Do like it. We just need a. Um, I need small forwards to off this bench. So we have one. We got a backup power forward, backup point guard, backup center. So we need to run 10 man. And we pick up a shooting guard. And hey, look at there. Can we sign him to a cheap deal? Any declines us. <laughs> Okay, um, hey, how about the Oregon boy? You want to come back to Oregon, man? Hey, you don't. There you go. Uh, Baysmore. I know we didn't really play that much, but hey, you're going to have time here. Welcome back to Portland. Okay, so now we got good old Baysmore back in town. So, um, oh wait, let me make sure to run 10. Bang, there we go. So Baysmore back on the squad for one to deal of it. And, uh, yeah. This team is looking good. I feel like this team, you know, I hope little gets better and all that, you know, all that jazz. Okay, here we are, and I'm kind of back and forth on this because, like, Adams, yes, he is younger. Blake Griffin, he is on the older side, but he's putting out better numbers, but I wonder how you play with this team. So I'm going to switch it up. I know this team has been doing good, and adding Blake Griffin might do something, so... I am going to accept this trade. Oh yeah, here we are in the playoffs. I the the voice was kind of out on this part. I know I do need a new mic. I know I need it badly. But uh, yeah, let's check out this Timberwolves and Blazer team. So here's the Blazer team right now that we had at the end of the season. And uh, I'll just tell you right now, this this video is kind of messed up. And I guess I'll tell you towards the end of the video of what happened towards the end of the video. But I'll leave that for the end. But anyway, this Timberwolves team did not look too bad at all. Did not look too bad. If you look at that team, it looks not that bad. They obviously brought in Chris Paul. That was a great trade by them on that end. You know. So, uh, yeah. Um, got a good, you know, Covington out there. You know, got Cantor, a good rebounder off the bench. You got, obviously, Wiggins. What a big pickup. And they got Willie Colley-Stein. Very good team here. 
I wonder what this team would actually be like in real life. I would love to see that and, uh, and all the other players there. But uh, yeah, and the one thing I didn't like about this is it went by rounds. It didn't go by games, and I hated that. So we had to do rounds. So they win game one. We win game two. They win game three. We win game four. They win game five. Okay, let's chill. And let's go to Simcast here and see if we can uh, come out with the dub here and try to force seven. Okay, getting, you know, getting pretty decent. Okay, and then we're starting to blow them out. There we go. We took the dub. Damien with 31. CJ with also 30. That was a good one. Okay, let's hit, go to, obviously, game seven here to see if we can beat this team. Can we do it? It's a close game. Uh, it's a close one. Can we come back? We kind of do. Can we steal it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump in here and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, here we are in the game. CJ, uh, Dame shooting free throws. Good. First one is good. It's green light. You know what I'm talking about. Obviously, this is all in-game, and I obviously am not doing it. Uh, but okay, here we go. Let's see what this. Let's see what good old uh, Chris Paul can do. Obviously, I'm not gonna play user defense because um, this year's defense is kind of funky. Uh, are they gonna get it? They are. It's gonna be green light. Okay. And they're up by two. So, uh, and obviously this, in this video, this game right here is the first time I actually used a team. So, yeah. And uh, let's see what we can do here with CJ. We're going to pull up a contested three from him. Bang. Look at that. Up by one. Timeout. Okay. So, we're looking good here. We're up by one. Have a chance to go on to the next series and try to play and then obviously surprisingly Blake, Blake Griffin was player of the game I, I was very surprised that uh, you got that so uh, yeah let's see what they can do here about 27 seconds left can they work some magics magic here CP3 shooting a mid-range that's no good gonna give it to CJ he's gonna get fouled okay let's see if we can make these two right here CJ up with the first one. Green. The second one. Let's see what he can do on the second one. Green. CJ with both of them. Green lights. Three point game with 15.9 seconds remaining. Can he do it? Let's see if he can. Covington from downtown. That's a miss. CJ coming down court. Five seconds. They're going to foul him. I was surprised because I was going to hit a fadeaway there. So uh, this is to win the game, and that's green. You already know it's CJ. That's good. And the second one is going to be a green. No, it's not, but it's going to go in anyway. And that's probably going to be the game, and I'll see you guys in the next series. All right, here we are, and we're playing Golden State. So Golden State team looking pretty nice. Steph Curry, D'Lo, obviously Clay, Draymond, and Looney looks like so yeah this team is gonna be this team looks fire and I wonder if they're gonna trade Delo in real life but their bench was on the weaker side but I feel like that team can do it you know it's the Warriors what do you expect they really had a good bench usually it's been decent and then obviously our team I would say the weaknesses is Looney against Przingis and then obviously Little and Clay Thompson is obviously the two weaknesses that I feel like are probably gonna win that matchup. Let's see what goes on here. They win game one. They win game two. They win game three, and we win game four. So, can we do something here? Can we come back? But this team looking pretty fire. Obviously, we're keeping up with them, and we lose right there, and we're gonna lose it. And I'll see you guys in the off season. All right, here we are, and Blake Griffin obviously did not want to re-sign. So we're going to have to try to go for him in free agency and see if we can snag him. Obviously, there is the players that I obviously want to give, get Zach Collins back. So let's, uh, let's get in that free agency here. Look at that. Paul George, a lot of talent in this free agency. We obviously have no money to throw at anybody. So that kind of sucks. Um, but there's Zach Collins, you know. 
Let's give Zach Collins a deal here. Obviously, okay, he doesn't want to come back to Portland. That's kind of not good. There goes our backup power forward there. Um, so, uh, obviously, let's look for Blake Griffin. Obviously, we got to resign this man. We can give this guy the max. Let's give him a player option. Bang that money. Let's, and then obviously, there's Paul George. I was trying to figure out how to, you know, look at to see where they were going, but I just couldn't figure it out. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess there's, there we go. And I'm still looking. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do it while you're due there, and it looks like we did not get neither of them. Obviously, we got a couple guys. We got Rodney Hood. Little obviously was a free agent. That was very surprised that Little was a free agent. Um, I don't think I accepted his team option. I'm not sure. Cause this was what the second year, and there goes Blake Griffin to the Chicago Bulls. So we lose out on him, and that team looking fire now after he went there to Chicago. I'm not sure how Chicago was because I have no idea so uh, I was just give this man a one-year deal you know uh, Simon you know same thing you know let's give him a two-year deal with a team option I like that I like that I like that okay you know did pretty good this season you know I think it was 11 points it's the only thing big there yeah 11.2 points per game right there Three assists, not too bad, not, not too shabby at all. So let's see if we get him. Did the only thing that sucks now we don't have a power forward or a small forward, so it's gonna be kind of hard. And we obviously tried to go back for Stephen Adams, but we have no money, and uh, we're gonna bring all these guys back. And I will see you guys next season. All right, and uh, here's you know here's the team right here. But I just want to talk on something very briefly here, and everything I'm just not gonna edit at all. Everything that happens is gonna happen now. Um, pretty soon at the end of this video, it's gonna stop randomly, and I forgot to restart the or actually start the video again. So we did lose the whole third season, but like it mattered, we didn't make the playoffs in the third season. And uh, if you're wondering how this off season went, it was not that good. And uh, obviously we lost, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and give me an another team to do in the comments. And also comment down below what team you want to see for these series like I have on Madden. But we're going to do it in 2K. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.